Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to the Wednesday message. And I am right now in Hong Kong. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've been with Dato Sri Vijay. Uh, Kuna is here, JR is here, Katy Boy, the QI directors. We flew into Hong Kong. We just celebrated our anniversary or our annual dinner of QI in Hong Kong a few hours ago. And I am now getting ready, packing, and hopefully sleeping for a while. And in a few hours, I drive across the border to the future number one market in the world, China, to Shenzhen. All right, to meet uh, our unbelievable warriors who are going to start the journey with the V, all right, on opening one of the biggest direct selling countries in the world, China. So I'm super excited, crazy excited. Going back to the ground is one of the best gifts that Sri Vijay has given me this opportunity to be able to go back to the ground. All right. I hope you guys caught my Insta live, okay, which was at 2 a.m. in Hong Kong. And I have a confession to make. I did the Insta Live after like two days of not sleeping. And halfway through the Insta Live, I thought I was dreaming. I don't know what I was saying. So I hope the Insta Live gave or made sense and helped you on your journey. Okay, guys. Now, as I said on Insta Live, we are coming closer to the end of the year. Right? So don't be distracted by the world. Stay focused. You are an entrepreneur. You are no longer a normal person. A normal person has the ability to switch off, to slow down, to sing Kumbaya, especially during the month of December. But we as entrepreneurs never, 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 never switch off. This is my mantra of life. All right. Whether I'm traveling, whether it's middle of Christmas, Diwali, eat Chinese year, doesn't matter. We are entrepreneurs and our QNET business is open 24 hours a day, guys. Right, because this is not what we do anymore. This is who we are. Always remember that you are not in QNET. QNET should be in you. All right, a way of life that this network you are building are not only your business partners, they eventually become your family. All right, if you look at Arun Atli, uh, David, okay, they are family today. And this is the beautiful thing about network marketing you are not only making money like a traditional business owner. You're making money while building lifelong relationships with people that, you know, are on the same journey with you, with similar mindsets, with that vision, with that goal uh, that you want to achieve. It's an amazing, amazing journey, guys. And today at the annual dinner of QI, Dato Sri was sharing from his heart about why he started this company based on rhythm, raising yourself to help mankind, how he reminded us again that companies don't succeed, people do. And for 26 years, I watched him and Japa focus on making people better. They made me better so that I can be on this video today as your chief, as your upline speaking to you. All right. On the Wednesday message and Instagram live, um, I think the growth that you receive on a journey in network marketing, especially QNet and the V, especially being part of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay's family, that growth, that evolution, that changes that happen in you, the lessons you learn, all right, about uh, life, about yourself, um, understanding your limitless potential and finding a way of unleashing it. You cannot put a price tag on it. It's priceless. It's priceless. I can count how much money I made. I can put a price tag on the properties I own and the cars and this and that. But if you ask me to put a price on who Patman Senatiraja has become, thanks to Japa, Datusli Vijay and my mother, God bless her soul, it's priceless. 
it's priceless. It's not millions, maybe it's trillions. Okay. All right. So on this Wednesday message, I want to highlight something to you. I've been speaking to a lot of morons around the world. And I realized one thing. I realized that you guys are starting, even if you're brand new watching me, please understand this message so you can prepare for your journey much better. All right. And if you are in the middle of the journey, this is important. Even if you're maxing out, this is important. Whether you're wee kids, wee teens watching me, this is important. It's about life, not only network marketing. All right. So all of you are starting to make the same mistake a lot of us made in the beginning. In the beginning, we used to set targets for all our downlines. Okay. We used to set targets for rule three, for their weekly commission, um, for the markets we're going to open. We used to set targets. Right, because I believe in network marketing without targets, without goals, measurable goals, uh, this business will drive you crazy. You're not going to see results. Do you understand? You'll be frustrated. It's like running the 100 meter race without the finish line. When do you stop? When do you celebrate? When do you win or when do you lose? You never know. All right. So I always tell people that when you start building your networking business, you must have crystal clear targets and you must sit down with your downlines. You must sit down uh, with your upline and counsel upline, basic building block number seven, and figure out your targets. Now, the mistake people are making nowadays is they just set the targets. Okay, you do this, you do this, you do that. Yo, next week, I want 500 US your commission. Next week, I want you to get three signups. Next week, I want you to get two signups. Uh, you, you are supposed to achieve one cycle next week, or you are supposed to do rule three uh, this week. You understand? And you instruct people with targets. And then you go back and you sleep and you sing Kumbaya with your mother-in-law. Now remember, this is a journey of entrepreneurship. This is not employment. You are not the boss where you tell people what to do and then you go back and you expect them to do it. All right. They are also entrepreneurs. You are the business partner. You are the guide. You are the mentor. You are the upline. You are the coach. Whatever you want to call yourself. Therefore, when you give somebody a target, you just don't give the target and walk away. You give the target, you sit down with them and you help them understand what they need to do to achieve the target for that week. All right. The reality of their organization. But sometimes people set very ambitious targets and there's nothing wrong with it. All right. But they need to understand that that target is ambitious and there's a lot of work to achieve it. Can you achieve it? Yes. All right. But they need to understand the sacrifice they must make that week, the commitment they must make that week, the time they must put in that week to achieve their target and you must help them understand it. All right. So when you give a target to somebody, when you give a goal to somebody, a TAT to somebody, all right. It is not only DRTAT. DRTAT becomes your TAT. Do you understand? It's a shared TAT between the upline and the downline. So my TAT is Dato's TAT. All right. And he's very involved with me to make sure I achieve my TAT. Because if I don't achieve my TAT, all right, technically I failed that week. But also Dato's TVJ failed that week. All right, because he is the one guiding me and mentoring me. That's why on Saturdays when I get on a call with my mentor and upline Dato Sri Vijay, it's a very intense discussion because we both fail to achieve the target. So just when somebody fails, when I do TAT with people, I want to understand why they fail. And then I guide them on what they're supposed to do this week. Now, if their cup is empty, they'll listen. Their cup is full, they won't. All right. But the fact of the matter is their TAT is my TAT. The minute you have that mindset, you won't just give a TAT. When you give a TAT, you sit down, you discuss it. It's a massive level of counseling that is required. All right. And you counsel your downline and you figure out what they're going to do. Now, if they say they're going to do complete rule three and rule three means four presentations a week, then you need to sit with them and understand who are the four people they're going to present to. All right. Have they invited these people? What if two people cancel? Who is the backup to? Do you understand? Because if you plan to do four presentations a week, you better have eight prospects that week. 
Because I know that four people can cancel. Then you're stuck walking the streets and talking to strangers because you don't have a backup to your four. Do you understand? So always have a backup to every presentation because people cancel, people fall sick, people avoid you sometimes because they already know you're doing QNET and network marketing. All right. But the fact of the matter is have a backup. So when you do goal setting with your downlines, or when you counsel your upline to do goal setting for yourself, that is a very serious discussion. That discussion, me and Dato CVJ, our discussions can last for two hours, three hours sometimes. When I explain to him what's happening in Africa or when China is going to start rocking or South America, now we're opening up Colombia, Argentina, uh, what's happening in the Middle East or Central Asia or Asia or India or, you know, Hong Kong or Vietnam or or Russia or Kazakh, whatever it is, all right, or Dubai or Saudi or, or, or Lebanon or Tunisia or Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, you know, you understand. And we discuss in great detail about why I achieve or didn't achieve my TAT. And then we discuss how are we going to achieve our TAT together for the next week. So when you give targets or when your downlines give you their targets, you just don't say, Fantastic. Good job. Let's do it. I believe in you. All right. You are unbelievable. No, no, no. You sit down. You analyze and figure out how they're going to achieve their TAT. Because your purpose of an upline, your purpose of going to an upline or your purpose of being an upline is to make sure that that person has the highest possible chance, the highest possible possibility of achieving that target because the longer somebody goes without achieving their TAT psychologically, emotionally they're human they start to doubt, frustrated mentally depressed you understand, this is the weakness of human nature, are you guys with me then it's harder work to uplift them but if people who hit their TAT on a regular basis you don't even have to motivate them. You just have to clap once and they go crazy and they will raise the bar higher. People who don't hit their TAT for a long time, you have to clap for hours to re-motivate them. Do you understand? So goal setting is fundamentally important. So what you need to do, you need to sit down with that person. If the goal is presentation, figure out who they're going to talk to, when, what time, which cafe, how are they going to do it? Do they need you to come to do closing? Are you doing it joint presentation or are they, are they doing it alone? Are you going to somebody's house? Do you need to bring a product? Do you need to bring your laptop? Do you need to bring a piece of paper and pen? Do you need to come there last minute and do closing or power closing like what I used to do for all my downlines, okay? I remember we used to sit in this coffee shop and every table my downlines would be doing presentation and I come, all right? You know, Dato Sri Vijay's warrior, I come there. And I just go from one table to another 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 table to do power closing. Do you understand? What is power closing? Don't entertain your excuses. Don't entertain your objections. Push, push, push until they say yes. They always say yes. All right. They just want somebody to help them say yes. Are you guys with me or not? All right. They're like begging, please help me say yes. I want to say yes. But my nature is to say no and create excuses. So bring chief. Patman Senati Raja and he will kill my excuses, erase my excuses, clear my doubts and boom, they say yes, all right? That's what I'm going to do in China tomorrow. So the fact of the matter is you sit down, you plan, okay, how many presentations, who are they, all right? Figure them out. They say, I'm going to meet my school teacher. You can already advise them how to present to their school teacher or they're going to meet their childhood friend who doesn't take them seriously. Then you better come. So they respect the upline coming. A third party's voice is always more powerful. Sometimes two people too familiar, the presentation doesn't work. Now they have a TAT of a commission and their TAT is 500 US. You look at their tree, you look at left, right. How many UVs, BVs they need on this side or is it a double payout? How are they going to get it? Are they promoting a 1,000 BV, 3,000 BV, 5,000 BV, 7,000 BV? All right, who's the closest to sign up? Why are they so confident that they're going to hit $500? Why are they so confident they're going to hit $500? I want to understand their mindset. Are they living in la-la land? Are they being naive and optimistic? Or are they being too realistic, too afraid to set a target? you got to bring them to the middle, you understand? 
and they must know how they're going to get that 6 UV or 7 UV or 12 UV or even if their check target is bigger, $2,000, $5,000. You need to know how they're going to get it. They need to know how they're going to get it. They need to know what they need to do to get it. Are you guys with me? You know? And then right after that on Saturday or whatever, Friday midnight, Saturday, you must sit down with them. All right, figure out what happened the week before, whether they achieve or don't achieve. They achieve, clap, 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 hooray, 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 next TAT. Do you understand? Did not achieve, understand why. All right, and that time you need strong trespass, like what Dato Sri Vijay has with me when he hammers me when I don't hit my TAT. And then, no problem, let's focus on this week's TAT. Again, how many presentations, direct presentations? How many people you supporting? How many trainings you attending? How you going to hit your check? Where you going to get the BV? Is it local BV, international BV? Is it product focused BV or leadership focused BV? Are you signing up somebody who's in the hot zone, warm zone, cold zone? So goal setting is an art form. Goal setting is high level of commitment. It's not just everyone submit their targets and then go, 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 go. Do it and come back and see me on Saturday. No. Goal setting must be reviewed at least by Wednesday. By Wednesday, you should already review the goals that the person set because by Wednesday, you already know what's going to happen by Friday closing. Are you close to your TAT? Not close to your TAT? Have you finished your presentation? Not finished your presentation? All of this is intense discussion. So I realized today the mistake you're making is that you're setting goals like singing Kumbaya. You do it, you do it, you do it, do it. Do it. Come and see me on Saturday. Stupidity. Moronism. That TAT is not theirs. Their TAT is yours. So when your downline has a TAT, that becomes a shared TAT between you and that person. Like me and Dato Sri Vijay. And that's why I stay close to him. That's why he calls me five times a day. I call him ten times, fifteen times a day. Because we want to go through the week and make sure we achieve our TAT. Are you guys with me? The TAT does not belong to the downline. It is a shared TAT with the upline. The responsibility is equal to achieve that TAT. So setting goals is an art form. It requires time and commitment and a lot of, you know, talking up and down, a lot of reality, a lot of ambition, a lot of dreaming, a lot of optimism, but a little bit of reality and a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of commitment, a lot of sacrifice. Are you guys with me or not? Right? So that this week when you set your TATs for everyone, do it properly. Don't just do it for the fun of it. Do it properly. This is a do or die mindset, not a sing kumbaya mindset. Are you guys with me? So the art of goal setting is a crucial component of you achieving your ultimate goal of financial freedom. Okay, guys? All right. It's coming to the end of the year. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in Bangkok, Dubai, wherever I'm traveling for the next uh, few weeks. And then Christmas, New Year, let the world celebrate. We will celebrate by maxing out. Are you guys with me or not? All right. I love you guys. And I'll see you on Sunday, 8 p.m. for my Insta Live.